Hey everybody, it's Indie News, and of course, this is the week of the takeover. But before we get into all that, Chuck did film a news. It never really got to go live, and I kind of felt bad about that. So what we're going to wind up doing is we're going to show it to you right now, believe it or not. So sit back, and you're going to get to watch the Indie News told to us by the amazing Chuck. And you're going to get to hear his take on it. We might start doing this on uh, on the Friday episodes where we're going to let you see what Chuck did. Hello, my friends. That is correct. <clears throat> it must be Tuesday, though it's late on Tuesday. Still Tuesday. Uh, it is a Tuesday, April 9th, 2019. And this is your Indie Advocate News and of course, I am your dude, Chuck Pino. Um, I still don't have my camera and stuff yet, so I'm still setting up everything. So this is what I'm doing. I'm going off of my laptop. That's fine, because the important thing is that we get the news. So this is uh, the front page. Let's check this bad boy out. First, we've got uh, Geek Radio America, of course, um, featuring Michael Watson, Andrea Lorenzo, uh, Andrea Lorenzo, Molinari, Austin Allen Hamblin, Eric Hodson, and of course our own Rob Anderson, who hosts it. Um, whoa, look at that, going crazy. Um, now crowdfunding on the Cape Autism Awareness event. That's cool, Broke for Bricks, a nonprofit organization that's taking up a notch and holding Cape. Oh, cool, all right. That's really cool. I'm glad to hear that. I love I love that autism is such an important part of of this site and what we do and, and what we care about. I, I love no, I just I love that we have something. And and the nice thing is is that it's not even something because oh, that's cool. Um Okay, I think I'm being invited to a convention. Oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll go check that out later. Um, and I'll probably do it privately without you guys. Uh, but you got to see that. That was uh, Nightmare World. Uh, okay, this Dirk Manning showing off his shit. I don't even know what he's showing off, but guys, it's Dirk. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the dude's kind of becoming an indie legend. So, worth checking out. Uh, Mercy Sparks, unlucky number 13, coming to Kickstarter from Devil's Due. Big name. Big stuff. Interested to see what that is. Comic-Con forecast. Of course, that's a regular part of the program, so you guys will be able to check that out. Um, and this was April 4th to 7th, so of course that's already happened. But uh, keep an eye out for the indie, uh, the indie com or the Comic-Con forecast so that you can see all of the terrific sh um, shows and people who are going to be out there on the Comic-Con highway. Uh, we got Let's Talk uh, Indie with... Mr. Anderson, of course, that was uh, guest starring myself, uh, Stephen Cole, who is actually a uh, an editing mentor of mine, really cool dude, and Jeff Weber, creator of the really terrific All Ages uh, serial, uh, The Scientists. So we got that going on. Let's see what else is up. Oh, let's just go past it all. Um, we've got new energy coming from Evolution. Alyssa Besigny. The Signano uh, is the catalyst for it. She has her sh her um, her book Will o Wisp, which looks really cool. That's going to be something that you guys are definitely going to want to check out. Actually, I have a copy of it. I need to do a, uh, a review of it if I get the chance. Uh, Fall for the Tales from Nocturnia. That this one looks cool. Matt will shared it, and uh, dude, such a good and the art and everything for this looks really badass. A creator in need. JW Sims, so you know what? Let's work with this. It is this is this is one we have to look at, in my mind. It'll take a minute. And we're dancing, dancing to the news. Um Alright, so hi my name is Chuck and I'm reaching <laughs> I am Chuck. And I am reaching uh, you to help my friend JW Sims. Currently, he was just diagnosed with his third round of cancer. JW is a colorist, and this is his source of income. With this news, if JW can't do as many uh, colorist jobs, so we're hoping helping him with some of the expenses so he can recover. 
We want to try to raise enough uh, funds to pay for expenses like bus rides to chemo and medicine. If you cannot donate money, please share this with everyone you can. So, guys, this is this is a big deal. This is what we uh, we get. You know, this is this is truly supporting indie. You know, buying someone's book or talking about it, that stuff's really important, but you're actually supporting a creator who has done some amazing work. I got to see his work on Broke Down and Four Dead Bodies, which is beautiful. Uh, the guy, The guy's talented, but it's not even just... Yes, he's talented. It's not, though, about him being talented. It's about him being a member of this community, him being an important part of what we all do every day, and him having a tough time. And so if there's something we can do to help, we should. So if you guys can, share uh, either financially or just by showing off what he's doing and sending it out into the aether. So let, let's hope. Uh, JW, from all of us here at Any Advocates, I have no doubt whatsoever, we hope to hear good things coming from you, my man. And by that... We mean awesome comic work that you've been able to do because you're healed, you're feeling better, and you're moving forward. So, peace and love, man. Uh, the crowdfunding report, April 3rd, 2019. And then we have this, uh, Crash Comics, Comics, Comx, uh -huh. .com, Ed Lavely, um, and that's about all he has written. Uh, but, I mean, at least... He, he's telling you, you know, like, he's not giving you a reason to check it out. Even the, the picture's not giving you a reason to check it out. But he's telling you exactly where to go. So if you fall for it, it's easy to get there. <laughs> now crowdfunding, Cafe Macabre. I've heard some really cool stuff about this. Um, it's a collection of horror stories and art by women. So that's really cool. And I believe one of the... Uh, I, I believe I know a couple of the names behind there. I believe... Uh, Leah Letterman's behind it, and I believe uh, Katrina Rhodes might have something to do with it. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I know I know Leah's a part of it though. Uh, First day Tales from Nocturnia Kickstarter launch uh, that was seven days ago, but that's talking about that. And we have Kid Chaos starring in Super Earth Spotlight number one. Kickstarter starts May 15th. Oh, good, you're getting in front of that. That's smart. Attend on, on lunch hour, 12.30 p.m. PST, on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. This is for Christy Shin, her uh, horatorastudios.com. So I guess if uh, if you want to have lunch, technically, with uh, Christy Shin, you can check that out. Uh, get the burn of fandom, Stephen Burns. Uh, come here, my own comic book studio, link below. He's got his link there. Um, again, not really showing us anything necessarily. And that's, that's you know, I've talked to you guys before. This isn't me being rude. This is like, hey, set this up for uh, uh, for it to work out for you. So you, you got you to gotta write. You know, I mean, these are your press releases. We don't write them. The press doesn't write your press release. You do. So you need to write something that's going to catch everybody. Uh, Michael Brewer, Deviant, this is his Deviant Art, and, uh, that, I mean, that p picture looks like it could be good. Is that, like, Skunk Girl or something? Might be. Um, and then, of course, we've got, uh, Crotch Girl over there. No, it's Bonsai Girl, Volume 2. Uh, this is the variant cover, graphic novel signed and numbered. That's from David Campiti. And that looks, Girl Hunted by the Giant Killer Robot. Um, that, I mean, that looks like some mad cheesecake. And, you know what? There's an audience for it, and uh, it looks good, man. Like, as, as far as cheesecake goes, not necessarily my thing, but it doesn't matter. It looks good, and that's exactly what good cheesecake is supposed to do. Uh, we have Geek Day Dating Episode 1, Meet the Host, the Indie Devil. Uh, then we have a naughty Chris Cole cover by Vincenzo uh, Carutu. We have uh, Indie Advocates Goes Blue for Autism Awareness Month, which obviously, as you guys can see right here it, it has uh what else do we got going on um congrats to marcus h roberts for the nomination for the protector that's right the glyph awards it's really cool uh congratulations to him there, there's a couple other uh uh greg anderson alisi was uh nominated for a couple i i don't remember everybody uh some of his titles were as well but uh yeah very cool stuff guys way to go congratulations 
Uh, just being nominated is cool, so good for you guys. Uh, Dusty Tortillas went live on uh, Indiegogo last Wednesday. And that's really cool. I know some of the guys behind that, good guys, hardworking. Uh, Indie Comics Report on Geek Radio America this week. Uh, Douglas Brown, Chuck with Raw Reviews, uh, Viola Favero, Varian Grant, and Ryan Palmer. So that's some more cool radio stuff. And, uh, yeah, you know what? I think we're, we'll, we'll do this. Scoffer Studios Productions are going to Phoenix Fan Fusion 2019. So, uh, man, if you want to check out Gov Scoffer and the, the rest of the crew, then there you are. <laughs> um, anyways, guys, uh, this was a short one. There wasn't a lot to talk about necessarily. This stuff has most of it's gone a week or two weeks. But please submit your um, – go to the Facebook page for Indie Advocates. Submit your Kickstarters, your books, your news, all your indie news, and we will get to it. And if it doesn't – I mean it should be there for Monday, but – if it's not on Monday, you can also uh, check it out when my dude Rob Anderson does it. So, guys, I think that's enough for today. Um, I'm doing this very late at night, but that's okay. It's happening, and that's what's important. Uh, much love, everybody. As always, peace, love, and comics. Take care, guys. All right, guys. So that's it for that. Thank you for joining us for the news. We got a lot to go over today. We're going to officially start the program because we didn't need to film that twice. We already have that on YouTube, but I wanted to have Chuck. So there's this new thing, and uh, I'll tell you guys the sad story of how we lost a lot of our subscribers. So there was a point where we had about a 1,000 subscribers on our YouTube page. We were kind of excited about it, as you would assume someone to be about something like that, right? And uh, we got three strikes on our account for copyright violations. Uh, and they suspended our account for six months. The uh, downside to it, to be honest with you guys, was the fact that we never came back from it with those thousand people. I don't know if they did a cleansing. So I know there was a point where YouTube had gone around and they sort of did this thing supposedly where they were looking at old profiles and if the old profiles didn't look right they were removing them i believe was uh how it was worded uh and i don't know it supposedly it depends on, on what you believe so the rumors were that youtube screwed up during that and certain pages more than likely ours got affected by this as well and we got the short end of the stick on it so that's not cool but sometimes these things happen and if we hadn't had those copyright strikes it wouldn't have been an issue so that's why i'm kind of bringing this up to you even casually so you guys know that those copyright things that we talk about they matter and they affect us because that's what wound up happening with that and we never came back from it so now we can't go live on our station if we're not on a laptop and i'm not going to get mad i'm not going to lose my temper on this one i'm just going to switch your graphics so you don't have to stare at that all day i actually kind of agree with this because of what happens with these awful people who do awful things and they stream it live and a lot of times these people who are awful don't have a thousand followers so I kind of have to go with the fact that I think they're right and I'm gonna say that you know let do with a high employee or motivated workforce to do things I'll give you one example of that I since you asked the question so what's going on right now. Detroit Public Schools after the bankruptcy of the city which is actually a separate entity than the schools there they had 50 or 60 years of diplomas in cabinets, paper diplomas. So let's put aside the people who don't graduate. Let's talk about everyone who graduated since 1950. I'm going to try to track down where that music is coming from. Because nothing on my browsers is showing that something is playing. So that is weird. 
I hold on. I think I might know where it is coming from. Let me see. All right, let's see. If I, it took. I have no idea what the hell that is. But if we don't actually need it because I don't need any other uh, thing played with music or voice. I've got you from this point out. So sorry about that. I don't know what that was. Uh, video stuck in the background somewhere that I wasn't even watching that one. So I don't even know what it was. Probably a YouTube video I was watching about wrestling and that was the next thing to play. So I do apologize for that. But as I was saying... Uh, so the, these people were videotaping horrific events, and this could be a way to stop it if you don't have a thousand followers. So I'm okay with that. You know, honestly, I, I am okay with that. I think it might be the right move. So kudos to them for trying to do something and making things right. All right. Speaking of making things right, we had we did fix the things the uh sorry not thing the list that we have so we're going to jump over to our live browser we're going to start going over something now the big thing this week is the indie takeover uh we did a whole show about it but i'll quickly go over the other shows going on we have madeline holly rising at gas gathering that's the 12th through the 14th small press fest has brian k morris this weekend that's april 13th to the 2nd Corey anderson will be at the farley uh Farley Con, and that's in Tennessee, the 13th. And you could watch the whole video. We just went over it. Here's the indie takeover. I want to show you, I want to talk to you about the coolness that it is. And let me make this smaller so you guys can kind of enjoy it a little bit better. There we go. And we did have it up here. I think we can actually call it up on our screen. So I'll tell you about the exclusiveness of, there it is. All right, so while I trade out, see, this was actually wrong. We didn't, we, Madeline Holly Rising is there now. It uh, was wrong during our other show, but it's up since updated, so that's pretty cool. And here it is, Daytona Beach. Adventure, it's going to have Paige Alfred, me, Rob Anderson, the Indie Devil and Advocate, Terrence Baker, David Bryan, Jamie Engel, Matt Knowles, Nicole Jovan, Dorfees Jean, Benny Powell, James Brewer, Roland Mann, Martin Perro. Lance Forte, Marcus H. Roberts, Joe Rodriguez, Nancy Collins, Richard Rivera, and Jeff Whiting. And it is super awesome that we have so many talented people. This is going to be this uh, probably the biggest show of the year in my estimation with talent being in one place and everyone coming together. So I'm super excited about it. I hope that you guys are excited about it as well. And I hope you join us, honestly. I hope you, we wind up seeing you guys there at the show and celebrating this amazingness with us. And the cool thing I did here that I'm, I'm pretty excited about is that everyone in those panels, everyone in the, uh, the upper little art things, the Daytona Beach thing, we're all part of the panels. So I want you guys to see the power of the people in the panels. All these amazing creators are going to be part of the panels this weekend. It's going to be awesome. And that Stabity Bunny to the right of the screen, that's going to be an exclusive poster print that you guys are going to be able to see. How cool is that, that we're actually going to be able to see this amazing poster? It was made just for this event. I am excited. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited about... This show, this has been something that we've been working towards. You guys have heard me talking about it. You know that I've been trying to get this done. I've been trying to make it happen, and it finally is here. And after this, we'll be talking about the next events we're going to be doing. I don't know where or when, but this is only the beginning. We're talking about possibly taking over an entire aisle at Megacon. That's going to be an accomplishment we're going to try to make. So this is the beginning of something bigger so you guys gotta stay tuned and i also want to give credit to terrence baker uh for the icc he's bringing the icc to the event and he, of course if you guys don't know what the icc is you guys got to go find terrence baker on facebook you got to see what he's do, what's going on and what he's doing because trust me it's going to be worth your time so go find my friend Terrence Baker 
and be part of something amazing. Just do it, man. Don't even wait. Just tear anyone who's on the takeover or people you want to watch. Trust me, I wouldn't put together anything but the top-notch creators. People who have, when you get them in a panel room, they have such interesting things to say. They are honestly, you know the, the term ring generals? Well, that's what they are for indie comics. They really are the ring generals of indie comics. And of course, I'm going to give you guys a quick look at the map. And remember to subscribe to Indie Advocates, and we're actually doing a thing, and I'll tell you about it right now. And we'll get back to what we were doing. Uh, that background image that we show on our site up here with all the creators, we're going to be updating that. So if you want to be added to that, so we're, what we're going to do is we're just going to make another one, and it'll rotate. We're going to make about two or three of these. So we have plenty of room. You guys will be, and if you notice in there, people are uh, continuously updated and not updated I'm sorry repeated and what will happen is that you will get like three or four spots where you will be seen possibly and maybe even more so we're excited about that so stay tuned for more on that you can go to my page and we'll show that in a few minutes so you guys can see exactly where to go to have your information added to the site and be part of something awesome all right guys so as i was saying we have a lot of talented people at this event but this isn't just about me chuck had covered some stuff with when he did the news for those who are on facebook for those of you on youtube you can go back and you can look at our earlier news program from chuck doing it now i wanted to point out the fact that there is an artist alley in daytona beach comic con just for us and that is super awesome we're super excited we're starting something we're starting to get comic books back in into comics so that is awesome and i appreciate everyone who helped us make this possible a few other things i don't oh here it is i want to get to my profile and show you guys what we got going on we, we talked about adding in, and there's some... Uh, Dave & Buster's open near my house, so I was sharing its free $20 thing. We had Nevermind the Furthermore was added this morning. I was talking about the, the being in the banner, and a very important discussion I had this morning was about ego, and I think you guys might actually enjoy that one. Mississippi, by making false representations about his income. I still don't know what the hell's going on with that. Something's got to be caught somewhere in something playing. I'll have to figure it out when I go off air, but definitely check that out. I was going to give you guys a little listen, but that ain't going to happen right now. All right, guys. So I don't want to hold you on too long, but I do want to show you the Indie Advocates. I want to talk to you about a few things that we're going to be pushing in the near future to, to build up. We're going to be doing the Indie Comics Preview Catalog where you can give us your title, your cover, and we'll get you people to buy your books and they'll buy it directly from you and not us we're going to be expanding our creators artist alley and letting more people know about that great con will be launching next week i had found a glitch in something and i wanted to spend a couple days looking at it and then my neck went out so i don't want to release something until it's done so we are a little behind on it but it's coming i promise i just want it to be done right uh, we talked about the banner in the back. Geek dating will continue. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry about not having it this week. That was a health issue problem. I We will have it again, though. So don't worry. Uh, we're we're going to randomly do it. I know people have begun to enjoy it. It's not going to have ever a schedule, I don't think. And for those, I talked about this in the video. There's a spot down here where if you look... Uh, Oh, that's, oh, there we go. Featured creators, banner creators. So this is something that we'll wind up sharing today so everyone can have it and see it. And for those who wonder why the site takes so long to load, it's we have a lot of stuff running, and it's it's become a pretty big site. We could eliminate some things, but I think that it works. I think it's worth the three seconds of waiting. But here are all the amazing creators that we had lined up, and we're going to continue to build this up and put more information. The, the people that you don't see information, those are the people I actually asked for stuff, and I didn't get it. I might actually add some stuff. Uh, see, if you guys don't get back to me, I don't track you down. That's an important lesson to be 
had now is that if you guys want to be part of something, make sure that you're part of it because I don't track people down. And I'll probably give this a facelift in the next couple days, but I'm going to send this out as is today to show you guys what we're doing and then we'll continue to improve it. And that's what it is. We've been evolving as a site and we've become, we've come a long way. And you guys can see that with the way we use banners and stuff. And some things we're still learning with this new setup, like the pictures being different sizes, because what ends up happening is as you change your screen, you see something different. Now, on our handheld devices, you also see something different. So it's just weird. It is what it is. I'm happy about how our representation is on a handheld device. Because we've debated making an app, but an app costs not only money, but energy to keep up and running. And I'd rather just us continue to be a browser, to be honest with you. Something you look at from the browser. And like I said, sometimes it takes three or four seconds to load. But just bear with it. It's worth your time. And you'll see how awesome it looks. And everything kind of just comes out really well on the browser. Because we kind of focused on the browser, I think more than anything else because honestly we have the information that we know that that's how people are viewing the stuff on our site they're actually getting it from their browser so and a lot of times you're getting the link from social media and you're just going directly there but make sure to check out the other things on our site they're certainly worth your time All right, so I think that's it. Like I said, I don't want to hold you guys up. We are going to be having more stuff next week. I did want to make a programming note about oh, our radio program. It is going to be running a little late this weekend. On uh, Usually the new episode will be a little late. Our Usually on Saturday, our first new episode of the week starts at 2 a.m., but this week it will start at 6 p.m. I think we've covered everything. If we didn't, I'll do a quick video. You guys see this takeover has literally been one of the more important things. Um, I'm going to be sad when it's over. I'll be happy to start talking about doing our next thing, but I'll be relieved too that this is taking some energy. And uh, this week I've been in touch with local press trying to get them to cover it. I don't know how that's going to pan out. I'm hoping but we'll see, but it has definitely been a journey, and I appreciate all you guys who have supported us and made us part of your journey. We're going to sign off now. I got stuff to do, things to fix up, and some things to load up on the site. Thank you for being part of the Indie Takeover movement, and we'll see you next week. This is the last news program of the week because I probably have some traveling, and after discussing it, I think we will not have news after Thursday. So from now on, Thursday will be our last news day. It doesn't mean we won't do live videos on Friday. I just, with the upcoming traveling schedule, I don't want anyone to feel like uh, they have to do it. I was thinking about getting someone to do the news for us on Friday or Saturday, but me and Chuck are just going to work it out. So the way the news is going to be in the near future, so you guys know, will be I will be doing Monday through Friday. And here we'll get Chuck the news. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll go to the news thing. Uh, Chuck will have the news on Tuesday night, but I will do a news on Tuesday as a brief. And we'll give you all the news. And we will be doing breaking news more in the near future. We'll be covering certain events right away and giving you the news that you need to know about indie comics. And sometimes the reason I don't do a lot of those breaking news is, is because... I can't, when I'm mobile, I can't show you anything necessarily. Oh, excuse me. But um, maybe I'll start ca carrying my tablet in case it's something you guys need to know. So look forward to that. And I will talk to you all next week. And this has been a production of the Indie Advocates Network. And I appreciate you guys being part of that network. And stay indie, guys. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome. Subscribe to IndieAdvocates.com and my site, MrAnderson.com.